Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to see several excellent articles predicting the next solar cycle, how to tell when a climate model is absolute trash, and a huge space weather biology study that feels like it was made for the observers. Let's get started with the last 24 hours on our star where flaring has continued, but now it's shared between the incoming southern and northern spots over to the left. The big sunspots have started returning, and while they aren't facing Earth yet, that is on deck this week. The southern sunspots visible now are a behemoth. It looked gnarly yesterday, but the trailing umbral cores are visible now, and this is disgusting. Wait for it, there is more. This is one of the longest end-to-end -end sunspots I have ever seen. It is only moderate complexity, but X-class solar flares are definitely possible from her this week. And compared to the other sunspots, not hard to see why, it's not really much of a comparison. And we still haven't even seen the incoming northern spots yet. And speaking of the sun, a new method of prediction is in play outside of the polar field strength and it predicts the sunspot minimum is going to occur in 2030, with the next sunspot cycle peaking in 2035 and 2036. Between the last two cycles in strength is their forecast, so if we look to the sunspot cycle data, this is the current cycle over to the right and the previous four to the left. Their forecast puts us right about here as the next peak of the cycle. Much stronger, and I'd be pretty certain we're cooked with Earth's weakening magnetic field, but if this is what we get, it's about 50-50. Quick break from the sun and space radiation so we can have a little laugh. They wildly improved the aerosol and chemistry data of the atmosphere and it has destroyed the model results. When more accurately detailing the data takes you further from real world observations, your model is trash. Climate models are trash. Okay, back to the sun and space radiation because this super study with heavy hitters at major institutions is not only discussing how space weather radiation induces senescent cell proliferation, which leads to cancer and multimodal mortality. It is not just for space travel, but there is special treatment to the ongoing pole shift and its effect on Earth. How it's not just astronauts, but biology on the planet that takes a pounding in these magnetic pole shifts. It's another huge story on that coming tomorrow too, by the way. Big one-two punch to enter December. Please come back tomorrow. Yesterday's winter tour event in Omaha went extremely well. It's precisely what I had in mind. I'll be impressed at how much you have accomplished and understood, and I'll still spook you white as a ghost with the reality of the task before you. Next event is in two weeks in San Diego. Grab your tickets now. Folks, now through Monday, it's 20% off in person at the Observer Ranch store, 10% off online with the code giving thanks. Everything is in there, including all the children's books for Christmas. And while the PDF of our major textbook is available, a couple of those physical copies are left too. Of course, consider the Observer Ranch membership if you plan to come see us at all or just want to support the community. It comes with free nights at the ranch, your name on the founder wall, access to the health center at the ranch during your stay, discounts, and more. Link to that is below with the rest, and we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.